No musical instruments were used in this video. Everything you hear are vocal sounds. Assalamu alaikum, peace and blessings unto all my beautiful sisters. I am your sister, Latina Muslim and Proud, and welcome to my sister's only channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about eating out as a Muslim revert. And excuse my casuelas in the background, um, but I'm in my kitchen and my apartment has very, very bad lighting. Now, this topic. I believe is very sensitive because people feel like oh the sister is being very judgmental but honestly you don't really know who I am I don't have an Instagram account and I'm not the Haram police I'm just here to advise and this might be something that you don't know as a revert so alhamdulillah inshallah you can learn something from this you know okay so as far as our meat Muslims are supposed to eat halal meat Halal meat is... Halal is Arabic for permissible, the Islamic form of slaughtering animals or poultry. It involves killing through a cut to the jugular vein, catarid artery, and windpipe. Animals must be alive and healthy at the time of slaughter, and all blood is drained from the carcass. During the process, a Muslim will recite a dedication and the shahada. So alhamdulillah here in California where I live in the Bay Area, alhamdulillah, thank you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I have access to everything. I even have access to some delicious, delicious halal beef pepperoni, halal salami, halal chicken wings, halal leg quarters, ground turkey, ground chicken, like everything, beef, fresh chickens, alhamdulillah. But that might not be the case for you. So I live in the USA, in California, in the Bay Area. And due to the fact that I have access to all of these halal meats, I am able to make my own recipes at home. I mean, I got married at 19 and I didn't even know how to cook anything. The only thing that I knew how to cook was a torta, okay? It took me years and years to like practice and perfect things and even now i don't know how to cook everything you know we've eaten things out for example like pho pho soup that's a vietnamese soup that i really really enjoy and i always get the seafood option because seafood is permissible for us muslims to eat out so i always tend to go for the vegetarian option the vegan option and seafood and because I have access to all these meats and places where I can go and get my halal meat, I can try my own recipes. Like I said, my mother never really taught me how to cook. I learned myself once I got married at 19 and then, you know, years went by, 21, I started really like going in my kitchen and trying to cook things. Um, so yeah, so for example, like I said, the Vietnamese pho soup, since I couldn't eat the beef one at the Vietnamese restaurant, then I said, hey, I want to try to make that at home. I actually even have a recipe for it. So if you want to see that, check right here. Uh, but yeah, so once you have access to meats, then you can create your own recipes. Okay, so you as a Muslim revert, you have to now be very, very careful of what you eat outside especially for example fast food restaurants we're just gonna say mcdonald's okay you can't have their chicken you can't have their beef you can have their vegetarian options a meatless salad or their french fries not the healthiest but their french fries and a soda a milkshake ice cream and an apple pie if they still even sell those Honestly, the last time that I ate at McDonald's, actually ate like a burger, was last year. See, that's my proof. McDonald's in Arabic. Here in McDonald's, and we're eating fries, and I promise you it's halal, because I have the Arabic writing here that tells you it's halal. But anyways, yes, um, I have no more storage in my phone, so bye. And that was because it was in Morocco. And Morocco says that everything is halal and God knows if you know this stuff is halal but there was signs everywhere it says halal 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 am I being naive I mean no I mean for me I feel like if it says halal it is halal now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only knows if it's not halal now I won't be punished for that right it's the people who are promoting something that's halal and if it's not halal then it's on them right anyways that's that's just my opinion um in and out burger king 
you know every time that i go to in and out i always get like a strawberry milkshake with some animal fries or you know if i go to panda express i get vegetarian options that are super delicious um like eggplants and the noodles or the rice or like broccoli on its own steamed broccoli or steamed vegetables um what else i know burger king has like a vegan burger or a veggie burger or the meatless burger you can eat that um what else i've eaten at red robin that's like a restaurant here i've eaten their meatless burger and that was super delicious it tastes much better than any beef burger that i've ever eaten so yeah like i said so pretty much you want to go for the seafood options vegetarian options vegan options so yeah but now i'm sorry that i was the one to tell you now that you know you might feel guilty if you do it anyways <laughs> But no, honestly, this is just an informative video that I wanted to make because I would have loved to know this when I first converted to Islam. I didn't really know a bunch of these like little basic things that we are supposed to know. Uh, so yeah, next time that you go out and you hang out with your friends or whatever, you want to grab something out, make sure you go for the seafood option, vegetarian, vegan option, or just get their sides, french fries, don't get a burger, get like a salad or something um but yeah i think that is going to be it for this video go ahead and comment down below let me know is it hard for you to stop eating out you know i'm no haram police here and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy on us and mean uh because you know it's a struggle when, we, when you're used to doing something and then you have to abruptly stop out of nowhere i alhamdulillah i'm happy to stop anything that is not pleasing to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, but it might be a struggle for everyone. Everyone is different, you know. So yeah. So I'm sorry to be the one to break it to you. But try not to eat non-halal meat out. Oh yeah, another thing. One really important tip is when you buy halal um, beef out at your local um, halal meat market. Um, you want to make sure that you purchase a kitchen utensil that can help you tenderize your meat otherwise it'll be very rubbery um i actually just discovered um this condiment that is also like a meat tenderizer and really helps and trust me i just discovered this a few days ago because i always struggle with purchasing um halal beef because i'm like is it gonna be hard is it gonna be rubbery is it even gonna taste good because then i'll just go for chicken or fish um but yeah so yeah that is going to be it for this video i hope that this information was helpful i'm probably going to do similar videos like this like revert videos things that you should know as a revert i don't know we'll see inshallah okay assalamu alaikum don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video assalamu alaikum if you made it this far don't be scared to join the sisterhood Go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like this video, and go ahead and share my videos with other sisters who you might think will enjoy this kind of content. Peace and blessings and hope to see you in the next video. My videos are super random. I know I can't help it.